Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. The Great Whites and the Tiger Sharks fill our imagination any time we think about sharks. And the reason is quite obvious. We hear of them every time, and we know them as predators ready to attack whenever they get the chance. Because of that, the word shark has become so mundane that it has lost its scientific value. But little did we know that the Great Whites are just a few out of thousands out there. And for many of those sharks, scientists and marine experts find it difficult to fully understand them because they're the rarest of the rare. Welcome to an oceanic Fact Files Top 10 List of the Rarest Shark Species Hidden in the Deep Number 10 The Goblin Shark if there's at least one thing you don't want to come across while diving in the ocean, it's a goblin shark. But to meet one, you should be ready to dive at least 3,000 feet within the deep. So, a real-life encounter with a living one in the waters is next to impossible. But less than 50 of them have been spotted in major oceans of the world, particularly by pelagic long lines and cameras. If not for those things, we'll never know they exist. Until date, no one knows how they survive at such depth or how they reproduce because a pregnant female has never been caught. As for the looks, goblin sharks are so ugly that many people call them the ugly duckling of the family. And with a freaky long nose, an extendable mouth, plus a see-through skin that reveals their underlying blood vessels, we think they're even compassionate. Their pinkish skin fitted with two spooky blue-black eyes would make most people pray they always remain hidden in the deep, never to see the light. Number 9. The Thresher Shark Thresher sharks reside in all temperate and tropical oceans of the world except the central and western Pacific. But to see one up close, you've got to prepare for a dive of about 1,500 feet at depths where you can only imagine your worst nightmares. Once you're there, a couple of other sharks would welcome you. But if any other shark is going to catch your attention aside from the great whites, the thresher shark is amongst them. With a tail the size of their body, it's rare for anyone to miss them. That tail, however, was a long mystery for the science world until rare food footage about what they were used for popped up in 2013. As it turned out, thresher sharks use their tail like a whip, primarily for hunting small fish. They slap it across a school of fish to knock several unfortunate fish dead in an instant. But even with such epic hunting skills, thresher sharks are still classified vulnerable to extinction. The major reason? They have a low reproductive window of just six years before dying. Number 8. The Dusky Shark also known as black whalers, dusky sharks are reputed for their long seasonal migration and their abilities to swim in all oceans worldwide. Either warm or cold, they take no preference in the waters they reside in. But they're known to migrate from the part of the ocean where temperatures become too unbearable. For instance, most dusky sharks move towards the pole in summer and travel up to 2,000 nautical miles back to the equator when winter is around the corner. Because of that, dusky sharks are considered to be generalist apex predators that can feed on many things on their menu. They can grow to a size relative to a six-foot man, weigh twice as much, and live up to a jubilee. On that basis, we can say they're a successful species. However, their major problem is their reproductive cycle, which takes about 20 years to attain sexual maturity and with another 22 months for a female to give birth. But within this period, a dusky shark might have fallen victim to men who target them for their precious fin. Thus, they're incredibly rare and endangered. Number 7. The Angel Shark can a shark be an angel? Well, we'll leave that for you to chew. But in this case, we don't mean a shark with the wings plus a halo on its back. Instead, we refer to a very rare species of shark notable for their flattened bodies and heads. Though they resemble a stingray very much, their dorsal and caudal fins make them very different. Angel sharks have five gill slits on their backs and two dorsal fins. Both pectoral and pelvic fins are still intact, and all that makes them more sharks than any other. What's unusual about them compared to most sharks is their low or tail lobe that extends longer than the upper one. And of course, their extreme flat bodies also make them an odd shark candidate, but they are. While most angel sharks prefer to live in shallow, temperate, or tropical waters, a few others would rather dive deeper down to about 4,300 feet below. They bury themselves in the muddy bottom to attack their unsuspecting prey. But among all sharks, overfishing and habitat degradation made the angel sharks the second most endangered species. Number 6. The Saddled Swell Shark 
Second to the last shark in its own genus, the saddled swell shark is a bottom dweller found only in eastern Australia. They reside very close to the continental shelf at about 2,000 feet in the deep. They often sleep in schools during the day and hunt bony fishes and cephalopods at night. Like many other swell shark species, they have a big mouth plus a flattened head and can inflate themselves when they sense danger nearby. Adult swell sharks are decorated with patterns on a background that can either be gray or brown, depending on how hot or cold the water is. But their juveniles are rather toned with many spots on a light colored skin. Scientists know little about the way they procreate, but the saddle swell sharks are suspected to be of a paris, which means their females probably lay eggs and enclose them in cases with extendable tendrils. But swell sharks are rare because of their limited geographic range and are most prone to overfishing. Currently, they are classified as near threatened amidst the world of marine biologists. Number 5 The Zebra Shark Unlike the name, an adult zebra shark has jet black spots with a little bit of tan that is untypical of zebras. Rather, their skin color more closely resembles that of a leopard, but that name belongs to the young zebra sharks with distinctive vertical stripes that run over the black background. Those stripes break up as the shark grows older to give them the leopard-like spot found in adults. Zebra sharks are active at night, where they hunt snails, crabs, and sea snakes inside holes and crevices on the seafloor. So they prefer to live around 200 feet into the ocean but they often swim close to the surface. When they do, divers get to play around with them because they're quite gentle, slow-moving, and harmless to humans. Though, they get aggressive by divers who accidentally step on their tails. However, their gentle nature is one of the basic reasons that endangers them in their natural habitat. They face many ecological enemies, particularly from local anglers who hunt them for their fins rich in vitamins. Number 4. The Ghost Shark the ghost shark is nowhere new to science, and just like some other sharks you'd still see on this list, they've also been around for several million years. But despite our knowing they've existed for so long, the first time anyone has ever seen one in its natural habitat was in 2009. Even then, they were seen with specifically built cameras that dive deep into realms way beyond where the sun can penetrate. But ghost sharks are not the only ghosts in their habitat and name. They also have some other peculiar features that separate them from other common sharks and put them in the underworld. For instance, they have freaky blue or red eyes like the dead, a pointed nose, an elongated soft body alongside a retractable genital that pops right in front of their foreheads. All that plus many more explains why ghost sharks are not technically categorized as an actual shark. Instead, they are called chimeras, which unlike most sharks, do not shed their teeth. To top it off, ghost sharks are extremely rare, and they're believed to hide themselves at about 6,700 feet deep within the ocean. Number 3. The Megamouth Shark Weighing up to 2,700 pounds at a length of 16 feet or more, the Mega Mouse Shark is indeed a large species. But what's peculiar about these animals is not only about their body size, but their circular mouth which, simply put it, is mega. On a 16-foot individual, the mouth is almost three times the length of your arm. Ever since their first discovery in Hawaii of 1976, only a few individuals less than 100 have been caught or observed to date. When it was first discovered, the scientists who found it found it so bizarre that they created a whole new genus and family to describe and classify it. Even with that, many of their common habits are still largely a mystery. But regardless of their elusive nature and massive size, the Mega Mouse Sharks are still small compared to the other two species of filter feeding sharks. The first being the Whale Shark, followed by the Basking Shark. They have poor swimming skills and a soft, flabby body. That, plus their filter feeding habits, makes them less threatening to humans and are more or less gentle giants. Now it's time for today's best pick. Experts have only had one opportunity to observe this shark species in its deep water habitat after about 80,000 millennia of its elusive existence. Number 2 The Frilled Shark Extending about 5 feet long with multiple rows of teeth, the frilled shark has a long, slim body and a flattened head that resembles a snake. If you call it a sea monster instead of a shark, no one will blame you for that. Even scientists refer to it as a living fossil with reasons that are more bizarre than spectacular. For one, we know less than little about them, but that shouldn't come as a surprise because we've seen several examples of such animals on this list and because the ocean is quite large for us to possibly know everything within it. But wait till you hear that these elusive creatures have comfortably walked the earth for about 80 million years since the dinosaur era. And in all those years, 
years they lived, they've remained relatively the same in appearance. Honestly, they fit more in a museum than on the coast of Portugal and Japan, where sick or dead ones were sighted close to the surface. In normal circumstances, they dwell 3,000 feet in the ocean where most cameras would go numb. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 1 The Pocket Shark with just about 5 inches, the pocket shark is indeed small enough to fit right into your pocket. But its name, however, comes from the big holes in its front fins that take 4% of its total body. Other than their size, how they got it or what they were used for, till today, is still a mystery. And that's because pocket sharks are so rare that if you're lucky to spot one, you'll be the third man alive ever to do so. The other two specimens that would confirm their existence would be found off of Chile and in the Gulf of Mexico in 2010. 30 36 years after the first sighting. Before anyone could describe it or even give it a name, the species found in the Mexican Gulf lived close to three years preserved in a giant freezer. So it's only expected that little will be known about such an exceedingly rare animal with no interaction whatsoever with humans, hiding itself in oceanic regions that might take an eternity for us to reach. Well, we hate to ask, but which one of these sharks do you wish to stumble across while swimming, snorkeling, or diving? We bet that your answer would be none, but if you're a fan of going against all the odds, well then, you're welcome. Just drop your view in the comment section below.